Hey guys, welcome back to the videos. I know I haven't done one of these in a long time and uh, I'm pretty busy pumping out other content and with other stuff in life, but I'm gonna pump out a few more tutorials before the end of this month or in the next week and a half. And so today we're gonna be doing uh, upscaling textures. And this one's a fairly expensive tutorial, but I'm pretty sure you can find creative ways to get this program. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I legally bought this program. And today we're gonna be using, it's called Topaz Labs Photo AI version three. And this is a really strong program that I had to buy and it works flawlessly because this has an AI upscaler integrated in it and it's going to pretty much do some same work. Now, I'll show you guys right away what we're going to do. We're going to be taking this right here. So we're going to be taking this slide I got right here and we're going to be upscaling these textures. And you might think they look all right, but uh, for a person like me, I'm like picky on how my textures look in game and I like to have really good graphics. Um, when I'm playing a game, I like to see really good graphics. I like to see models and high textures. And this right here, it came with 2K textures or 1K textures. I forgot, but we're gonna be converting it to like damn near 4K um, with one click of a button. So over here, if you, when you get this program, which is, you, you can't really do this online, by the way. Every other website's gonna have you charged to do this. So it's best just to get this program. We're gonna be working with um, a regular color file and a normal file and it'll work on here too pretty well too so all you got to do over here you just drag those two files over here and i'll just zoom in closely on what it does so i'll just highlight that and we're going to hit apply autopilot over here and it's going to say are you sure you want to do this and you want to click apply and on the right is what um what is the enhanced version so I'm going to zoom up to some text real quick, like this over here. The left is the original. The right is the new upscale version. And as you can see right here, it looks really good already. Um, being with these upscalers, the um, the words could come out kind of sloppy sometimes. And there's nothing you can do about it, really, because if you look if you look at the original one, they can only work off so much right there. And then again, you can get creative and just make your own stuff. But you see all right here, all the pixels get cleared stuff like that and let's go look at this uh logo right here perfect look at that and so i'm gonna be just doing these two files and then put them in, in the creation kit and i'm just showing you guys what, what to do really just basic stuff it's really easy to use and after i click auto apply i'm just gonna hit um make sure it, it does the same over here too and it looks like it did it yep do it right there you can see the left and the right we're just gonna hit file, save, and then it's gonna, uh, you wanna save it to the original folder that you had these files in. So I'm gonna hit save. And it's gonna give it a second. All right, once it does that, go back to our folder. We got the new one right here and right here. And sometimes it can come out a little bit darker. And and when it comes a little too dark, you wanna have to go back in the program and kind of tweak some stuff. But I've only had to do that a few times, thankfully. So with these two files right here, we're gonna go open up paint as usual, and then we're gonna drop these two in there. And I'm gonna open them up. And at the bottom right, you can see right here, it says 3461 times 3461. And the original files were oh, 1K textures, 1024. Right off the back, we're gonna, we're gonna see a major difference, guys. Major difference. And all I gotta do over here is just save as and save it to the uh, data textures and whatever you got your textures going. You just wanna save it over there. I'm just gonna rename this. And once you do this, the, the, the file size is gonna go up like quadrupled pretty much. So now we're gonna go back to the creation kit and material editor. And I'm gonna go find my material file. So my material file right here is where the stock textures are at. I'm just going to uh, uncheck everything right here or we're not using those. And then we're going to replace those with our new ones, which we just made in Topaz 2K J18 color and normal. And then we'll throw in the rough. And then you could you could hit ambient collusion. You could just tune it down just a tiny bit. You could play with that one. 
I can tune it down just a little bit. And make sure, guys, right here, text resolution. You want to click that. You want to go to high res unique map and save. And so now for the final, pretty much the final thing to do is just go back to NIF scope and refresh and see how it looks. Um, if it doesn't look how you like it, you just go back and tweak uh, what you did in the material editor. So I'm gonna hit apply. And it looks like there was a small difference. As you guys can see right here, I had opened up the wrong file at first and I was wondering why <laughs> the shit was like not named correctly. It's small differences, but this make a it makes big diff make a huge difference in game when you see it. Magazine. And right here, you can see right here where the, the little blur was at. Last thing before I end the video, I just want to show you guys how the end result looks in game. Mind you, these were 1K textures at first. And it looks really good. So let's go ahead and uh shoot it, look at it real quick. By the way, we're playing at 2K resolution. You can see some slight pixelation right there. But other than that, the light hits it really good. And that's all for the video. Uh, we're going to be working on another video soon. And then we're going to put up some other videos regarding some creations mods, which I saw were kind of fishy. But I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?